All right, this video is about the Gigabyte Aurora's Extreme 3080 uh, Water Force that I picked up from a scalper at Walmart. Uh, now, the guy wanted $1,200 for it, but $1,100 is really all I had to spend on this. So he said, fine, uh, you can have it for $1,100. If he gets to keep the action figure. This is the action figure right here. And I didn't even know it came with an action figure. So for 100 bucks, I said sure. Keep the damn thing. So I was able to pick up this beauty. And I will tell you more about the overclocks. I achieved with this. In a couple of minutes. And this is coupled with the. Gigabyte Aurora's TRX40. Extreme motherboard. Uh, with the AMD Ryzen 3970X, which is uh, 32 cores. I was able to overclock this on two cores at 46 and the rest of the cores at 45, which, you know, wasn't bad at all. It's very nice. And the RAM is the Trident Z Neo uh, 3600. And I was able to overclock this to 3800 and this is the actual build uh please excuse the mess i know i have to tidy this up i just haven't got around to it yet because i had to take out two of my uh older graphic cards which were two uh original titans that came back in two came back came out in 2013 i believe or 2012 and uh, I had those in SLI which you know uh, SLI is uh, gone away now they don't use that anymore so this uh, 3080 was a very nice upgrade to my build and another good thing about this uh, GeForce Water Force GPU that it already came with a, a radiator, a closed loop system, two fans, uh, which means I didn't have to hook it up to my uh, liquid loop here, which would have been a pain in the ass. Buy more fittings, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, that was a blessing. And now on to the overclock. Uh... I'm running stable at, let's see if you can see this, 2160 megahertz at 9701 uh, megahertz on the uh, memory. And let's see, this is MSI Afterburner, which I'm sure y'all are familiar with this program. And let's see if I can uh, zoom a little bit closer. That says plus 137 on the core clock. Now, if I go to 138, it crashes every single time. Uh, but 137 is very stable. No crashes. And that is also plus 200 on the memory clock. And as you can see, this is Warzone right here. Uh, if I can uh, zoom in. Uh, I'm averaging 152 FPS. And you like the GPU uh, temperature. I mean, it doesn't ever go over really like 47, 48 Celsius, which is very nice. And I'll show you the settings I am playing with. Uh, basically, everything is maxed out. Let me focus this if I can. Everything is maxed out uh, except for... Let's see where we got here. Uh, let me go to graphics. Actually, I'm in the wrong thing. Except for DirectX ray tracing, I have that disabled. Uh, it's not much benefit to having it on, really. Ambient occlusion, disabled. And anti-aliasing, I have it off. Because I like a very sharp, clear picture when I'm playing. 
And plus there's a huge benefit to FPS when you turn anti-aliasing off. And I'm playing at 144 refresh rate and the render resolution is at 1400. Uh, I think that's 4, 2K, right? That's 2K, I believe. So yeah. And also I have Windows HDR turned on. And let me show you some other settings I have. Let's see, here's my NVIDIA control panel. Uh, I can uh, zoom in at 144 hertz. And then my monitor is the LG GN950, 144 hertz monitor. And let's see. Now the color settings, I have it at 10 BPC. Default is 8. Uh, yep. Default in eight, uh, and basically what that means is um, ten bits per color. Uh, it means more colors can be shown on uh, 3D programs, 3D games, uh, images. Just uh, more colors per bit. And let's see what else. Also, to achieve that FPS. I turn off a lot of uh, background uh, processes or programs like um, Windows Defender. I have turned off uh, real-time protection, any kind of virus protection, turn it off. Uh, you really don't need it uh, while playing a game. Well, let me just say this. I have a dual boot, boot system. Um, now my... Uh, Call of Duty is installed on another partition on the hard drive. And my main partition is my, basically my workstation where I do all my work 3D uh, rendering and stuff like that. And on the second partition is another Windows where I have installed, uh, installed all my games. And I don't have any other programs installed on that. Just the games. Nothing else is running. Uh, now I've Press Control Alt Delete. I'm put the phone down for a second. Control Alt Delete, and this shows you everything you have running in the background. And a lot of this stuff you can turn off. I can go in more detail if y'all are interested in this in another video. But mainly any kind of antivirus protection, turn it off. A uh, Windows Search. Turn it off because that's always running in the background. Turn that off as well. And if you do that, uh, you should have a, a very good 5, 10, 15 jump in FPS on your games. Uh, all right, that's the video. If y'all have any uh, questions or comments, uh, please just respond below. Thanks.